with another video on fun math okay today let's start a new topic called as differentiation okay differentiation is an interesting topic let's see what it is okay first in these videos on differentiation we are going to learn about these first definition of dy by dx what does the word dy by dx mean okay we have seen this it is part of differentiation and geometrical meaning of the derivative you should learn anything in geometry right anything based on geometry in geometry first so meaning of derivative in geometry geometrical meaning and differential coefficients of standard functions okay what are those standard functions you know them pretty well x power n sin x cos x tan x sin inverse and all the other functions and next rules of differentiation what are the rules for differentiation and then differentiation differentiation of implicit functions we learned about implicit and explicit functions right now we will discuss about differentiation of them and differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions next we will learn differentiation of function in parametric form means there are two variables x and y right we will take some parameter like t and we will find the differential of them and logarithmic differentiation you know logarithms right in that section we will discuss about differentials of some logarithmic functions like log x and differential of some other functions and higher derivatives of a function means here as you can see we write dy by dx right higher derivatives means we'll write them like d square y by dx whole square we should not read it like that we should read that as dy by second derivative of y with respect to x dy by dx also should read as derivative of y with respect to x and then let's next we'll discuss about differentiation of a function given in the form of a determinant you know determinants right and in that section we'll discuss about differentials of a determinant and last we'll discuss about different derivative of a inverse function means anti logarithm sin inverse cos inverse and some other functions okay first in this video we'll discuss first three topics definition of dy by dx geometrical meaning of it and some standard derivatives first definition of dy by dx what does the word dy by dx mean and what is the meaning of that let's see what it is first definition of dy by dx okay let there be a function y is equal to f of x because derivative is based on functions is defined in a certain interval it is defined in a certain interval it has definite value for each values of the argument x here argument means the values we are giving and in this interval we will find definite value I mean there is a function is given which has a definite value for each value of the argument x in this interval okay let the argument x receives a certain increment means the increasing the order of the increasing delta x means the argument x increases with a value delta x okay whether delta x is positive or negative it is not is, it is immaterial obviously y will receive a certain increment in delta y right okay delta x is increasing or decreasing x is increasing or decreasing in a particular way and then y will also increase or decrease right okay y may be constant too but in most cases it will increase 
Let that increment be delta y. If y does not increase, delta y will be 0. So, since the argument x comma y is equal to f of x, argument x, y is equal to f of x, y is the function of x. So, we can tell that like y plus delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x, right? y plus delta y means the y value after the increment, after the first increment is f of x plus delta x, which is the value of x after the first increment, right? Both are same. y is equal to f of x means it becomes y plus delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x. Okay, now what is delta y? If you send y to the other side or subtract y on both sides, you will get delta y is equal to f of X, f of x plus delta x minus y or f of x plus delta x minus y means f of x right f of x plus delta x minus f of x and then what will be delta y by delta x we should just divide f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x means by delta x which is the ratio of increment of the function and the increment of the argument, right? Delta x means the increment of the argument. Delta f, f of x plus delta x minus f of x means the increment in the or increment in the function. Now, as delta y tends to zero, as delta y tends to zero, delta x also tends to zero if delta y by delta x tends to finite quantity. And then, derivative of f of x exists and is denoted by y dash or f dash of x or f of x or dy by dx. We can determine that in any of these ways. So, f dash of x is nothing but Limit delta x tends to 0, delta y by delta x. Or it is limit delta x tends to 0, f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x. It is simple, right? Okay. Consequently, the derivative of the function y is equal to f of x with respect to the argument x is the limit or limit of ratio Delta y by delta x when delta x tends to 0. Okay, you may think we should just determine that by delta x it is somewhat difficult to write. Okay, you can also determine that in the form of f of x plus h minus f of x by h. Both are same. Now let's see the graphical meaning of this. geometrical meaning of a derivative okay let us consider there is a function y is equal to f of x as you can see in the figure 2.1 here and we determine that in a rectangular coordinate system what is rectangular coordinate system that is our basic coordinate system we are using now means it has rectangle coordinates We also consider a point P x comma y on the curve. If a point corresponding to an increased value of the argument x plus delta x is considered, its ordinate value is defined by y plus delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x. It means that if the Argument is increased by delta x, means x went to x plus delta x. Then what will be the change in the ordinate or the y coordinate? It will be y plus delta y, which is f of x plus delta x, right? And the, let the point x plus delta x, comma y plus delta y is denoted is denoted with letter A capital letter A. And now as you can see here, P x comma y and 
यह x plus delta x comma y plus delta y. If you observe carefully, the distance from origin to the point which is corresponding to p is x, and then the change in x is we denote it that with delta y, so it is delta y. And similarly in the y case. And now p a, what is the line that passes through the curve p a? It is the secant to the curve. You know secants, right? If there is a curve, if any straight line passes through two points in the curve, then it is called a secant. Now, as delta x tends to zero, as delta x, delta y tends to zero, that implies p of p a tends to zero. Means as delta y tends to zero, the distance p a also tends to zero. Or to the single point P. Now, limit extends to zero. Slope of the chord P A. Limit extends to zero. Slope of the chord P A tends to slope of the tangent at P. The slope of chord tends to slope of the tangent. And tan psi it is a greek letter psi tan psi is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 tan theta as delta x tends to 0 the angle psi tends to the angle theta and that implies limit delta x tends to 0 delta y by delta x is equal to dy by dx okay how it is equal what is the tan of a line the tan of a line means it is the slope of that line with respect to the angle made with x-axis, right? Or there is another way to calculate the slope that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 means change in y by change in x or delta y by delta x. So these both are same. Or it is also denoted with f dash of x. Which means that the value of the derivative f dash of x for a given value of x is equal to the tangent of the angle formed by the line tangent to the graph of the function y is equal to f of x at point p of x comma y with the positive x axis. Means the derivative is the, is the slope of the line or the tangent of the angle formed by the, formed by the line. Tangent of the angle formed by line to the positive x-axis in the anti-clockwise direction. It is called as the f dash of x or in other words you can easily tell that it is the slope of the tangent at that particular point with positive x-axis. Okay, slope is measured with positive x-axis only. Now, as you can see on the screen, these are some standard. Okay, these are the standard <coughs> standard differential coefficients <coughs> or differential coefficients of standard function. You should remember all of these. Okay, these are simple. Let's see one by one. If you want, take screenshot and learn these. Okay, the first one is the derivative of a constant is zero because a constant curve does not change with respect to any arguments. And d by dx of x power n is n into x power n minus 1. Okay, you can prove that. You can easily prove that. We learned about the basic formula for finding derivative in the previous in the previous heading, right? Learn that. It is the same with this. If you learn that, it is you you can prove all these formulas on your own. And d by dx of e power x is e power x. And d by dx of a power x is a power x log e. Okay, here also e power x is also e power x log e, but log e is 1.
d by dx of log modulus of x base e is 1 by x. You can easily remember that as log with base e of a of an argument is 1 by x. And d by dx of log modulus x base a is 1 by x log a base e. And d by dx of sin x is cos x. Sin becomes cos. And d by dx of cos becomes minus sin. Okay, how to remember this? First, let's see all. d by dx of tan x is secant square x d by dx of cot x is minus cosecant square x d by dx of secant x is secant x tan x and d by dx of cosecant x is minus cosecant x cot x okay easily to remember this positive or negatives just remember it in a simple way that if the derivative of a tan function if there is a derivative of a tan function which start with letter c then it gets a negative value if it starts with letter c it gets a negative value if you see here cos starts with c it got a negative cot starts with c it got a negative cosecant starts with c it got a negative value and if you want the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions d by dx of sine inverse x is 1 by root 1 minus x square sine inverse x it is 1 by root 1 minus x square okay here the conditions are minus 1 is less than or equal less than x is less than 1 means x should be in between minus 1 and 1 or mod less x should be less than 1 and d by dx of cos inverse x is minus 1 by root 1 minus x square it is same with sine but it has the minus sign. It is minus 1 is less than x is less than 1. Because cos and sine are possible only in between minus 1 and 1. The possible outcomes of sine and cos or range of sine and cos functions is minus 1 to 1. And tan inverse x, derivative of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square. Where? Minus infinity is less than x is less than infinity. Means x lies belong lies in between all real numbers. And for secant inverse x, it is one by one by modulus of x root x square minus one, where modulus x is greater than one, or x belongs to real numbers minus set of minus one comma one. Similarly, cot is minus 1 by x square. Cosecant is the negative of the secant one. And please make sure you remember these conditions for inverse trigonometric functions. Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, ring that bell icon. It notifies you when there is a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video.